Dr. Peter Sharples to make his valedictory statement. Kainga E raua ku whakaaro i tēnei wā. I'm really uh, full of uh, different thoughts uh, today, uh, pretty mixed, and um, as I think back over the last nine years of uh, my life, um, you know the history of us, uh, for sure and Sibe, the Hikoi, Tariana, didn't know where she sat, crossed the floor and made history. That was really brilliant. And when we had a whole lot of hui up and down the country, and we formed a Māori party, and we came. So in our first, uh, first election, we won four seats of the Māori seats. Uh, Tariana, myself, and... Where is he? What's your name? And Tūruroa. And Hone Hone Harawira. So we were very vocal over three years. Uh, we sat on the cross benches over here and uh, we threw stones at everything that uh, Labour put up. And we got a lot of following from outside. Uh, people said, yeah, you're doing a good job in there. We didn't win anything, we didn't do anything, but we just made a lot of noise and we got a lot of press and that got us uh, an extra seat at the next election. So then we, Arahui, Kia ora Arahui, joined us and there, there, then there were five. Then we had a major row, and then there were four. <laughs> and a manapari uh, as a result of that. So that's what happened. So that split, and also he mounted, and others mounted a campaign about being in government with National, and they invited us in. We went back, had 30 hui up and down the country, and every hui said, yes, go into government, give it a burst. <coughs> so we did. And I'd like to acknowledge um, John Key and... Uh, the whole uh, structure of the National Party that explained why they would like to go with us. It was good reasons and an opportunity for us to have a chance at the table. So we were honoured by that. Thank you very much. And we joined you. So um, over the next period, we got a lot of goodies uh, for our people, both in terms of uh, passing um, um, bills, but also in terms of uh, putea, uh, money, to allow the product projects to go ahead and so on. It was a really good experience though for us to do that. But the reality is our popularity slipped right down with the conflict between Mana and Māori Party. But also there was a campaign against us being with National. They were painted as the bad guys. And uh, by uh, this Māori lobby in particular, uh, even though, so the last election while National did all right, um, with Māori, uh, Labour did all right. And I think that was the backlash on us being in that government. So what do you say to that, you know? I just tell you straight that I go up and down the country with, with, talking to my people and I say to you, and I say it again now, Parliament is a Westminster system. It's all about the vote. And if you're able to secure the vote, you're able to secure 
change and progress for you and your party. It's not just how loud you protest outside or the issues you bring up. This is about sitting at the table. And you've got to be at the table. And that's why parties go to extraordinary lengths to try and do deals and be at the table and so on. And that's great. That's the system. But just know that that is the system. And so I really feel strongly that um, there should be a program introduced in schools. To This is what we did with Te Reo Māori. It was slipping away, gone burger. And then suddenly we brought in Kohanga Reo and started teaching the little ones. Now they're reading the news in Māori. Now they're working for companies. Now they've got their own companies called Reo Māori Ana. And it works. So what about if we had um, some lessons uh, in schools about our system of government, what it is, what you do there, and how you make laws, and you get uh, uh, rewards and things for your people. So that's my big thing at this time. And um, I really feel our people are so far away from understanding that. And the fact that they don't vote is testimony to that too. You ask them, you know, you're voting? Nah, I'm not voting. What for? And stuff. So people, I'd like to say thank you to a whole lot of people at the outset, so you get that one going. So my tribe, Ngāti Kahungunu, I know many of you are here, Kaumatu and stuff. Huani uh, Waititi Marae, Manitaki, Pareti Taua, Kura, all these uh, our organizations. Thank you for coming and being here on my last speaking day. Um, it's a great day because I've had three speeches already, one question, and I didn't have to correct any records. <laughs> it's embarrassing coming back in all. Put in the water. But I'm an expert at that anyway. So, uh, Tamaki Makoto, you are going to be the best committee in the world. You've done good by me. We've won every election we've uh, gone for, and we're going to win one for Rangi there, uh, sitting up there this time. Uh, you're a great, great committee. Uh, all our branches, and of course the voters of Tamaki Makoto, which is most of Auckland City uh, there, the natives in there, anyway. Um, I had an A-team who door knocked, and they door knocked just about every weekend on our first uh, election. They went out, and it rained, and they got wet, then they went out again, it rained, and they got wet, and they went out every weekend. Every weekend, they had a karakia, then they went out. And I want you to know the average age was uh, the baby of the group was 65, and there was a whole group of them dedicated because they said, at last our time has come. We have a Māori party. And you know, that was inspiration for us to bring our Māori cope up in here. Do you know, every time you, do, you put a bill up to us, we put it down here and we say, these are the criteria. Our team has to go through this. Kotahi tanga, does it unite us and does it unite New Zealand? Um, uh, Manaki Tanga, is this a caring bill? Will people be hurt by this bill? Every single bill, whether it's about crossing the road or whether it's a new building or a new uh, security law or whatever, we put it through that test. We have stuck to our kaupapa and voted accordingly. So I just want you to know that we, we go by that kaupapa and I know most Māori in here would like to, to do that too. So maybe there's something there that the big parties can think about to understand that these are real tikanga and not just made up rules to go buy stuff. So thank you, uh, Tāmaki. Uh, we have our current president up here, Nader. Kia ora, Nader. Thank you for being here. Um, lifelong friend and stuff. Uh, Vice presidents, Ken and Donna, thank you. Past presidents, Pem Bird and Fatarangi Winiata, amazing man, a really amazing man. He was great on the tangas. He had, a, he had a tongue up for everything. So, um, and, uh, of course, our past MPs, uh, Rahui and, what's his name? Oh, Hone. That's right, and Hone. <laughs> no, no, don't laugh. He sent a message and he said, I'm cool. How's that? Yeah. wonder what he said to his wife. Anyway, anyway uh, what an adventure we've had. It's been a great adventure being together. I really, really, I didn't know Tariana personally until uh, all this stuff happened. And then suddenly we joined at the hip for uh, nine years. And if you joined at the hip with Tariana, it's quite an experience. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Okay, I should, I should check that out. Okay. So, the National Party, I've got some things to say about you, but let's just move down the list a bit. 
Parliamentary precinct staff, thank you very much. We can't operate without you guys. The VIP car drivers, I really have to thank you. And so do you, Tarian, because you and I and the Prime Minister always have the highest expenses in cars. <laughs> and you know, with those cars and the odd flight, I can do four cities and five meetings in one day. So it really, really works. And if you've got a portfolio like me where you've got to get out with the people, um, it really helps. So don't stop that, that one. Um, the cleaners, thank you, messengers, staff around Parliament who make this place tick over and who look after all MPs. Really, really good. My electorate staff, my staff here, my personal staff and, and the private secretaries and things, awesome. I've had nothing but good staff. Uh, really, really good. So Veronica Martin, Kimberly back there, and my big team here. I, I will name you all tonight, but there's so jolly many of you, I really appreciate you. You've made my life here very easy. So, TBK, you get the rough end of the deal many times, and everybody seems to uh, have a sort of love-hate relationship with you. Don't stop working. You're doing a great job. You do stuff. You clean up after everybody. You hold the the mana for us when, you're, when things Māori go wrong in this place, you ask to fix it and so on. And there's some beautiful people in there. Thank you, and I'd like to acknowledge Leith and Michelle, the leaders and others in that department. Corrections officials, always good, but that's because I've been, I used to say, in and out of prisons all my life, but I've been working in prisons uh, all my life, so uh, it's really good, easy working with, you, with them. Education people. I had few drinks last night for anyone who sort of works for me, and education came en masse because they have been great. Tātai ako. That's, I said, you know, we need this thing about cultural understanding uh, your Māori student, and they wrote it and got it written and produced. Uh, Māori history in schools, it is now there. You, you never knew about Te Pati Apiti or Te Kikiri o Te Rangi, but you knew about Sir Walter Raleigh, and you knew about... Uh, one or two of those other people over the Magna Carta and all that stuff. But you see, you're not related to Sir Walter Raleigh and stuff. I'm related to Te Pati Apiti. I'm related to uh, Te Kikiri Otarangi, and he did far more than uh, Sir Walter Raleigh and Sir Francis Drake and stuff. And yet, you don't know him. And that's not fair. You should know him and share in our history before Cook. And uh, then we can enjoy each other and where we come from and where we're going. So um, I really respect my education officials who have done heaps of stuff uh, for me. The iwi leaders and community leaders, it's been great working with you. We've uh, all met each other uh, over the years and they change and so on, but I really enjoy working with you iwi leaders and I will continue to do that. Um, and then this committees that I have set up that you've been on, Te Pai Pai Mutuhake, thank you very much to Tamati Reedy and your team. Constitutional Review, thank you very much. Some heavies on that one. Māori Economic Task Force, uh, some of them are here tonight. Um, TPK Refocus Group, there's many committees and I'd like to thank you all. I really like to thank my family. I'm like here and I'm not here. Uh, shall we go somewhere uh, tomorrow night? Oh, I've got to go to Wellington. Again, I said, that's where my job is. And this is how it goes. Well, now they'll probably say, aren't you going to Wellington? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy that we were able to effect some things. The things I've enjoyed was the United Nations Declaration of Indig Indigenous People. One of my first tasks I decided as a minister in 2009, 10, thank you was to negotiate uh, New Zealand support for, for the drip, uh, knowing that New Zealand, Australia and USA and Canada weren't uh, involved in that at the time. So I went to New York and uh, presented it, chanted my way up, did that Māori thing that we do, and I finished it, they all cheered, and I was just going to sing my way, or my New Zealand team, and the Hawaiians jumped up, the Sami jumped up, and the whole place erupted in different cultural dances. So they were really pleased. And next thing I know, the Premier, uh, the uh, President sent down Senator Price from the White House um, group to uh, start negotiating what they're going to do. 
Canada called us to a meeting and said they're going to do something. So it was really good if we were able to trigger that off. Notice the wall. We've got a wall in the United Nations. It's all shabby, but it's Rimu. It's a beautiful wall, but it's really, really paru. And so um, we asked, uh, can we bring some tiko tiko and stuff in here? And they said, no, um, we've got too many. So I said, well, we'll do our wall up. So we have some beautiful tuku tuku panels made, really lots of them, and they've been measured to suit there. And I'm looking forward to joining Toi Māori and, and, and TPK taking those over and presenting them uh, in the near future. So that's going to be good. Māori language strategy, we had it today. It's been passed uh, to go to the select committee. So that's good. I was pleased to hear uh, Nanaya say that this is not uh, to be a political football. It isn't. I had, did not cover all the things in my speech today, but there I can, those things can be answered. So please uh, find out from uh, your leaders and stuff like this, or I'm happy to meet with you and talk about that and so on. So our Māori economic strategy is grown into He Kaikei Apuringa, a department now shared between um, MB and TPK, and we uh, foster um, Māori trade overseas and uh, economic development in New Zealand of all kinds, SMEs and so on. We started the review of the Māori economy and it was said to be 16.4 billion with, and now we found out actually it's 37 billion, it's more likely 40 now because of that. So we are worth a bit and t we've done many uh, excursions into Asia and to China. Uh, to build up those uh, relationships and sales. The Auckland Super City, thank you, Government, for that, because uh, while we lost uh, the fight, we had a march. Hey, Willie, we had a march up uh, Queen Street, and we had meetings after meetings about honouring the, um, the Royal Commission, who wanted three designated seats for Māori, because they don't normally make a uh, committee, and that's going to be a big Super City. We need them on there and uh, Rodney wasn't in favour of that, and Rodney was in charge of the whole thing. We couldn't just exchange him. And he said, uh, <laughs> and uh, he, he threw his toys a little way out of the cot, and so uh, we lost that one, and we didn't have any. After many arguments, God, he doesn't listen. Anyway, um, because of that, we went to another meeting, and it was decided uh, the Māori Advisory Committee, what should they do? And we piped up and said, ah, they should be statutory. And, they, and, it, and it was passed. And now they are so doing such a good job. Uh, and I hope that that's a model other cities will use to have a standalone statutory Māori committee with its own budget and can sit alongside at the top meetings and so on. Well. You think you know your Prime Minister. Uh, I'm going to just give you the real Prime Minister. <laughs> uh, you're a, a strong, forceful leader, albeit with a strange sense of humour. But... <laughs> I don't know how you're going to get on at Waitangi Pōwhiri without me to look after you. <laughs> Do you know the whole of New Zealand watches uh, Waitangi Day TV report just to see what happened to you at the Pōwhiri? <laughs> like, there was Nanny Gate. The Nanny Gate Pōwhiri held up the whole proceedings for an hour, while Tita Fai and her daughter Hine Whare in tow conducted a public dispute with another kui, a nanny, uh, another nanny, uh, about who will escort the Prime Minister onto the marae. Now, many of you were there at this occasion, and Nader dived into the scrum trying to sort it out, and there they were, waiting, waiting. And then finally the Prime Minister arrived, but they weren't ready, so they had another fight. And I was worried about my wife getting knocked over because she had a crook leg at the time. Suddenly I see her in the middle of the scrum, arms going flat out like this. I said, oh my God, they're both her aunties. What's going to happen? And so on. Um, so I was worried about her. Uh, Nick Minute, there she was right in the middle of the scrum. So. <laughs> anyway, um, I think they had all had a piece of you that day, Prime Minister. You are a warrior, though. But then, then there was a lock-up gate, Pōwhiri, where we were lured into the Whare Nui and we were, uh, we were told the door would be locked and we wouldn't be allowed to leave until you agreed uh, to their local request. We eventually got out of there. And then speech gate, Pōwhiri. While I spoke, there was complete silence on the marae. Either they were mesmerised by my wisdom or they couldn't care less. And we're just waiting for you. Anyway, as soon as you stood, 
your old friends, the brothers, began drowning you out on their megaphones from behind. And in order to be heard, you walked onto the marae, and the noise followed you and got louder and louder, and you walked further and further, and you almost sat down on the other side. You were right there on the other side of the road. Mm, I'm sure that's not a rule on the marae, just like that. Yep, so um, that's okay. And the last poor filly was Fishgate. Just some disgruntled ex-fan of yours, Prime Minister, decided to share his lunch with you <laughs> and tossed the whole fish at us. <clears throat> but the poor filly of poor fillies was Tusselgate. To explain, Hone's nephew's security, uh, they just um, came in and decided to have a piece of the Prime Minister and they just dived into us. Security was everywhere and so on. And I got pushed backwards with a post behind me and over I went. Next minute, there were feet all around my head. I was looking up and uh, they were all looking after the Prime Minister, tramping on me. I was just lying there. Shoes against my head while I was lying there trying to get up. 